That's what it looks like close up. What are you going to do today, Andy Fraser IT? Whatever I feel like I want to do, God! Well, we just had the desk clean up, so now is a good time to do something, do a video because the desk's clear for the first time in about a month. We're going to need that, this cable, and plug some stuff over here. When I did the 2013 iMac SSD upgrade video, I took this out of it and I thought, oh, well, keep that because it's a one terabyte hard drive that'll come in useful. And then I just sort of left it somewhere on the desk and now we plug it in. I came to use it when I got the new MacBook because I wanted to put some stuff on it to some video on it to edit on the new MacBook. Plugged it in. And that happened. Now all sorts of percussive maintenance hasn't worked on this. It's dead. I hope I'd taken everything off it but that's pretty bad form. It says here February 15. I only got the Mac about a year ago but it's dead already after being unplugged. Might may have been, might have had some bad experiences anyway. Anyway, I thought what we'll do is we'll have a look at what happens in here and this is something that I wanted to do since I started doing videos. I thought a good one would be to see what it looks like inside the hard drive. And also today we're going to have a look through this at some stuff. This is, this is the new microscope. Put some of the video from this on. I'll just take this little protective cover off. So this is from Amazon for about 20 quid, not even. It does get pretty close up. That you can see my hand there. I better start the video before you can see my hand. Here's here's the video of my hand. Well, there's a little brown mark on my hand here. I don't know what it is. Been there for a while. Let's see if we can get this thing. Uh, pretty hard to get it to focus. See that? It's gone again. Let's put it down. A curious ailment. I guess I'm pretty close. There it is there. So if anybody's a doctor, what is that? But you can see it's very. It gets in very close. Anyway, that's enough of that. We'll put that aside for now and stop that recording. This is still beefing away. I don't know if we'll start doing it with it plugged in or if we'll plug it in once it's open. Let's plug it in once it's open. I'll just take this out. So this is, I bought a mobile hard drive a few years ago and then I wanted to take the hard drive, I was using it with a, an old MacBook, I wanted to take the hard drive out of it and put it into my MacBook that I had. Uh, so I got like the kit to change over the, the hard drive to a, change over the optical drive to a hard drive, you get a little insert thing that you put in and then you can put in, you can have two hard drives in it, only in older MacBooks. So we need some tools to open this, there's no, no loss here because this thing's knackered anyway so. It's the right size, it looks like the right size. Let's get it open and see what's going on inside it. Hopefully we'll get some good microscope footage of what's inside it. And we can find out what all the different parts are. So let's get it open. That's a, a meaty sticker. Thick. Is that the screw there? Yes. I think we're loose now. Yes. Right, so the big reveal. There we have it. So what have we got in here? This part which you might have heard of the shiny part. It's called the platter. Looks a bit like a CD. Uh, and that obviously, when you plug it in, this spins round as fast as it can. You can put the screwdriver in there. You can't see anything happening because it's too fast. But you can see it spins pretty freely. It spins for a while. It does sound like it's having some trouble spinning there. This is the actuator arm and then on the end of here you've got the heads which are very tiny and they've come to rest on this little orange bit here so when you what what should happen is when you plug it in this will ping this out to here and it'll go back and forward and pick up the magnetic information on the disc the disc is all invisibly split up like either a one or a zero and then there's different parts called a sector so if you can imagine that cut up like a pizza that's a different sec so the way it's the data is stored on here yeah if it's if you imagine this cut up into like a pizza and then there's also rings around it each of the rings is called a track and i'm not sure how many tracks you get on here but it'll be quite a few and then where the pizza slice is there's lines going this way as well down here and then there's pizza slices going that way so when each of those lanes go through one of the pizza slices in between the pizza slice is called a sector or a track sector the track goes right around it and then you've got the track sectors this arm pings out here and reads uh, the information about where the data is stored and then it goes and finds it so people will say if you open up a hard drive that's it done forever like there's no going back once you let the air in there you can see it's got like a little gasket on here when you open it up and let the air in, that's it kaput. And it's got like little bits here which are things to let air out if it gets too much pressure. 
and obviously it's screwed down up here the power and the data ports are uh, it used to be down this side on bigger ones but it's up here on this one um, and that's that's pretty much it there's nothing really else to say about it some sort of data cable here going to this which will relay the data back and then it'll go out through this oh this little bit fell out it'll go out through this this circuit board and out here the power comes in there so let's see what happens when we plug it in now maybe plug this in first so you can see nothing nothing much is happening the thing's just going beep 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 there's not we're not getting anything this isn't spinning it is jammed though but it's not going to spin up and it did shunt that out of the way let's see if it's putting that back to the start because there's nothing happening up there in the disc let's see what, if we can spin it up no it's stopping itself there it's not it's not even like it's it's not spinning like it was before so there's something getting in the way see it spins for ages there right let's get some microscope action going on here right what have we got here what can we look at when we look at the the heads so here is here is the head so there you can see that's what it looks like close up can we get even closer perhaps see if we can focus that yes we can and this cable is like the data cable which pulls the data out of here out of it uh, come on come on now pulls the data out of there out of the head and there's little tracks going down and then it relays it out through this cable back up the circuit board like we said before just now and we'll see if we can get some bits off you should never put your fingers on it obviously that's just foolish but it's not working anyway so we'll just unscrew this platter here and we can take it out and there it's absolutely covered in my fingerprints so actually you might be able to pick that up on the microscope now oof you can see a fingerprint there anyway let me show you that it's like it's like um csi miami or something look at that big oily fingerprint there my hands are clean as well but i guess this disc is even cleaner let's try to put one there wow that's amazing that's crazy right that's enough of that so that's one of the platters anyway nice and shiny I don't think I'll ever be able to get that shiny again, so I'll we'll probably just put it in the bucket. And we've got a washer here, which is pretty cool. Nice ring. Nice ring for the geek. That's decent, actually. Nice ring, bro. I'm going to just keep that. And what else we got going on down here? Can't get this piece off. Uh huh. Another. The other platter was a. Just on this large spindle here, that's the bottom one right, just in case this starts working, let's plug it back in, nothing. Not sure how safe it is to be touching this with the power on, but anyway, nothing still. Can we get this out, you think? Let's take this piece off. A magnet. This is the magnet. Oh, something just pinged out, some sort of dust, which hopefully won't kill me. Right, what else have we got in here? Is there another screw somewhere that I'm not seeing because I can't see? Doesn't seem to be coming out anyway. I'm mean, gonna try to pull it out, but it's fell off. That's a funny screw, maybe. Put it on the bottom. Oh yeah, there's the screw there. We need to. Oh, there we go. That was weird. It sort of started coming and then turning on itself. I must have been holding something. There we go. So this is for the arm. The hold the arm on. Oh, and it's all stuck. Right. That's. Uh, I don't know how that bit of plastic goes back in, so I'll just put it there. The other magnet on the bottom. And then we've got this set up here. So this needs to come out. Oh, and there we go, that's just a little connector there, the data connector, which is um, relaying the data out to the board on the other side. Now, Oh, you know what, it would have been fun to do this with one that was working and then see what happens when we put it back together. Let's see if we can have a uh, quick look at these heads and see what's going on down there. It's not really designed to be taken apart. Alright, let's see. 
what this looks like up close. Looks like kind of like a spider's legs or something, but look, there's all sorts of stuff going on in there. It's so tiny. So these two, like in between here, in between here, in between these two prongs here, is where the disc slips in. And you've got this little, you can see the shiny, the shiny, shiny there, which will be reading the disc. And then the same on that side. I don't even know if I can bend one back a bit. This, oh, there we go. There we go. See that? So that's what it looks like inside. And then tiny, tiny, absolutely tiny wires. Look at it, look at this, look at this. See that against my hand? Absolutely crazy tiny. And then if we look at the chip. Well, there's not a lot to see there. It's just a normal sort of chip. with little connectors here, uh, here, these connectors here which I'll push down onto the board um, and put, relay the information back to the, the board to the computer. You can see where they connect up there, two sets. That's quite a good microscope actually, chuffed with that. Right, so anyway, now what, what have we got? Nothing. We've got this as the motor and it doesn't work. I think that's the problem. It's not spinning at all. You would expect some spinning. I wonder if there's some damage in here. Let's take, let's continue. So we'll take these out. It would be good fun to put this back together after and see if we can get all the bits back in. Yes, good fun, exactly. And maybe it shall reveal its secrets of uh, brokenness and we can fix it and I don't know, shine up those platters with something and stick them back in. I doubt it. I think it'll be well and truly gubbed. Right, what we got going on here? So here is the power which goes in here to the motor. Obviously we're experiencing some trouble there. But I can't see anything wrong with uh There's nothing like burnt out on here. It's, um, can't really see anything burnt out. So if it was like a problem with the board, you'd maybe see something a bit charred or blackened. We're not getting any of that. Everything looks pretty neat. Well, from a distance anyway, I don't really fancy getting the microscope out and examining the whole thing. These all look tippity top. I mean, obviously you could test it with a multimeter as well. Test all these components with a multimeter and see what's going on there. As far as I can see, nothing is what's going on there. That looks absolutely chipper. And we could also just plug it in and test if there was any voltage there. That would be a quick test. What have we got here? This motor which is like moulded into the thing. We're not going to get that out. But I wonder if maybe these contacts have just been pu pushed down too much or damaged or something. It does look like there's a bit of damage there on that one. I'll show you that on the microscope. So there's the so there's the contacts. You can see where the, the power output from the board has been going into that. And then it runs up these tracks. Oh, up, power up these tracks, and then you've got one connection there, one there. This is difficult because the camera's like got a mind of its own for what way it's facing. Number three, and then number four, and actually they're all fine. It looked like there was, looked like that first one was missing a bit, but it looks like it's just a bit of solder there, which is. Uh, went over. Let's put it back together now. I don't know what's going on with this hard drive, but it's just started clicking. And I'm sure they'll never be any of the wiser that I opened it up and uh, had a look. They're not going to look inside it, are they? They'll never know. Uh, the stickers, it doesn't want to go back down. Clever Clogs made this sticker. It's like, uh, once it's folded, it doesn't unfold. Let's try again. Oh, never mind. If 
five minutes under a hot iron I'll be ready to go back to apple. Not really, I'm not sending it back to apple because I want to keep that cool ring out of it. There we go. Hopefully that was uh, interesting. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Thank you.